Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a super relaxing and just kind of go with the flow kind of video. It is a clean and cook with me. I have several things that really need desperate attention in the house. So I just figured I'd start off small and try to get some few things done and work myself up along with trying some new recipes in this video and doing a little bit of meal prepping. So this is my small little grocery haul. I didn't get much. I just got enough to make a few meals for this week. Okay, so in this pot back here, I'm gonna put this shaved pork in. Okay, so I'm just putting this shaved pork back here on medium heat. So now in this part, I'm gonna add this ground turkey and it's the 85-15 into this part. And I'm gonna make some unstuffed peppers in this, or with this. So while this is starting to cook, I'm going to go ahead and chop up my onions. So back here in this back one with the shaved pork, I'm doing like Chinese styled shaved pork and I'm going to eat it with some zucchini and broccoli and some rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings to this back here. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of garlic, of minced garlic. About that much minced garlic. Maybe about a tablespoon. And then we're gonna add three or three or four splashes of oyster sauce, and this is the kind I get. You can get it at Kroger and Walmart. Just one or two splashes of fish sauce. A couple splashes of seasoning sauce. And I got this at our local like Japanese market. Um, I don't know if some Walmarts might carry that or you would have to like find an actual Asian or Japanese market to get it at. I'm going to stir this up and then I'm going to add some salt and pepper. I really like the pink Himalayan salt. I feel like you don't have to use as much with it. And then you can use white pepper, but I'm just going to use some freshly ground black pepper. And then about a tablespoon of sugar. And give that a really quick stir and then let it cook for a little bit longer okay so now I just have a ton of bell peppers to chop up I might should have got two plates actually I'm gonna get two plates
Okay, so I'm adding two cups of those mixed bell peppers in my meat mixture and I'm going to stir it up really well and then add all of my seasonings and my sauces to it. Okay, so to my unstuffed pepper mixture, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm going to try to let these peppers kind of cook down until they're slightly tender. And then I'm going to add about two tablespoons of tomato paste, some Worcester shower sauce, however you want to say it. I'm going to stir this in really well. And then I'm going to add in one can of petite diced tomatoes. A little bit of onion powder, some garlic powder, a little bit of dried parsley flakes, and I'm going to add a little shake of basil leaves. I would add rosemary if I had it, but I don't have any right now. And then I'm also going to add in some of these little minced dried onions. I'm going to give this a really good stir. And then let it cook for a little bit. And this is just a couple tablespoons of water in here to rinse the cane out. And I'm taking some fresh basil and I'm cutting it up in this unstuffed pepper mixture. Okay, so I've got about two tablespoons of butter in here. I've brought to a really high heat and I'm just going to add my mushrooms in and saute them. So one way we eat the unstuffed pepper is on sandwiches so we're just going to pile these two buns high with this mixture it does get kind of messy with sandwiches that's kind of part of the reason i'm not a huge fan of it i like it more as like a fork kind of dish like on rice then i'm going to put some mozzarella cheese over top of it and then we're going to plop these either you can do in the oven I'm going to do microwave today. I'm just going to put this in here and melt the cheese on top for a little bit. Okay, and now I really like to serve this with rice or broccoli or do like half rice, half broccoli and pour this over top of it and eat it like that. That's probably my favorite way of eating it, but you can really eat it however you want to. So this is what they look like when they're done. I'm going to put some Parmesan cheese over top of it and then you're ready to eat. And then this is what it looks like when it's on just some rice.
So while we were at Walmart today, we picked up a computer monitor. We've not had one since we purchased our actual computer, so we figured it was probably about time we had one. We don't know much about this one, but the guy said it should be really good. We're going to hook it up and see how we like it and see if it works for us, and hopefully it will. So I'll let you know how this one goes. But in the meantime, if you have any recommendations on computer monitors, leave them down in the comments for us. And if this one don't work, I would highly appreciate some suggestions on monitors you guys like. Okay, so these three big piles of clothes here is all laundry. So I'm going to go ahead and take like one or two baskets to the laundry room and get that started while I'm cleaning up everything else. So my dresser has been piled up forever now and I cannot, I've not been able to pull myself to clean it up, but I know it needs to get done. Today I was just really feeling it and it was getting on my nerves a lot, so I figured we'd go ahead and get that done. So I'm going to clear off everything I can, try to sort through some things and get rid of them and get this all cleared off.
Okay, so being 100% honest, I am really embarrassed to show you guys the state of my room, but to be transparent about everything, I'm gonna do it. And I have just had a really hard time recently with keeping everything like in order and clean and to be honest, just like simple stuff that should not be too hard to do, but I have really, really had a hard time finding ways to do it. So my room is in a terrible state, but I'm gonna show you guys. And if your all's room looks like this, it'll get better, I promise, it'll get better. It may get worse before it gets better, but it'll get better. So without further ado, the mess. <laughs> Okay, so here's the mess in all her glory. This is where my clothes have stayed majority of the time. And it's taken over probably half my bed. So I make my bed around this. Sometimes I take it off, make my bed and put it back on. But it does stay here qu quite a bit. <laughs> and I know this is really, really bad. It looks bad. It is bad. So, we're gonna try to get this cleaned up as much as we can and get rid of some stuff that I no longer need that is literally just causing me more stress than it is joy. And then we can't forget about this little pile. I've got a laundry basket under there, that little flowery thing, and then on top is just clothes. Clothes I've gotten out of my closet and just thrown on top of there. So, in front of my closet is very, very messy. And then we have this pile. And this is just stuff that needs to go in storage, needs to go to a place where it's safe until it can be used, but it's just storage containers, kitchen stuff, more kitchen stuff, Tupperware stuff, <laughs> all kitchen stuff pretty much. <laughs> so it does not need to be in here. And then of course clothes has been piled on top. So let's try to get all this cleaned up.
So this was the first time I had ever made this bread recipe and it turned out really, really good. So if you struggle with making bread and worry that it's not gonna rise, try this recipe and see if it works for you because we loved it. We ate like an entire loaf of it, which wasn't huge, but it was still a loaf of bread. The first day I made it, we ate it with butter and cinnamon and sugar and freezer jam and it was just so good. And I also have this recipe over on my Instagram page. So you'll find a link down in the description that'll lead you to my Instagram page so you can find this bread recipe. So after I got all of my liquid ingredients heated up in the microwave, I done a total of three 45 second intervals, but the recipe only called for two, so it would just completely probably depend on your microwave, how strong it is. I poured that into my mixer and let it mix up really good to get that butter incorporated in there. And then after it was mixed really well, I went ahead and added my egg and then I switched out that whisk hook for the dough hook and added in all of my dry ingredients and let it mix up and incorporate until it pulled off the sides. Then after it done that, I just kneaded it in the mixer for about six minutes. So after I got all of my dough made and kneaded, 
I went ahead and greased all of my loaf pans and I just gave a really generous amount of Crisco on each one so it would ensure the bread wouldn't stick. Now I'm just going to take my bread, divide it in four even little sections and then make it into a loaf and put it in my pans and let it rise for about an hour. Which one you want to try? This one? The big, big papa? Heavy. Okay, should I just cut it in the middle? Um, or cut it. Yeah, I guess you can. That looks like that's good. Are you ready for the reveal? <gasps> it's baked! Is it? Look at it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look how fluffy. Looks good. There's some good salmon fruit. I'm gonna put some butter on it. You gonna get butter on? It would make good grilled cheeses. So I know you guys heard me freak out that the bread was baked and I'll explain that just for a second because I was fully expecting this bread to either come out hard as a brick or runny and not baked at all and not done. So I was super excited that it was actually baked really, really well inside. Okay, so my jam is frozen. So we're just gonna get out here and hope that it thaws it a little bit.
Okay, so I have been prepping and cleaning pretty much all day today. We took a little break and had dinner out in town, but now I'm going to catch just like the last few hours of the sun out by the pool. So we'll get done with everything else when I come back in, but right now I'm going to enjoy some time outside. So this is actually the next morning and I had some laundry to do. So before I made my bed, I did put that in the wash and I didn't record it. I kind of forgot. But then after I got that in the wash, I came back to my room and made my bed because it always makes me feel so much better when my bed is made. But I just got that out of the way so then I could work on whatever else I need to work on today. So then later that day when the laundry was done, I just went ahead and got all those towels folded and put up and then I could kind of just relax for the day. So thank you guys so much for watching my video today. It means the absolute world to me and I can't explain how much I love to see you guys interact with my videos and enjoy my content. So that's all I've got for today and I'll see y'all in the next one.